Hey now, so this is a follow-up video from my previous video when I started to have some problems with my 12 volt battery. If you guys haven't watched that one yet, you may want to check it out. I will leave a link for it up there somewhere, over there, or over there. I don't know, we'll see. All right, folks, as promised in my previous video, I'm gonna show you how to check the voltage on your 12 volt battery in your Prius. Now there are a few different ways to do this. The first way I'm gonna show you is the old school way. We're gonna use a handy dandy voltmeter or multimeter, whatever the kids are calling it these days. This is just a cheapo I think I picked up at Home Depot maybe. So I am in a 2014 Prius Gen 3 and in this model, the battery is located in the very back of the car. So let's go on back there. All right, so it's located in the rear passenger side. I believe we can access it just by pulling up this cover. Yeah, there it is. Um, see if I can pull that off to get a better view of it. E probably no need to do that actually. Okay, so let's just turn our handy dandy multimeter onto the right setting. This is the positive terminal, terminal here. Just lift up that cover, put red on that guy, and black on, I don't know if you can see it, but there's the negative terminal there. We've got 12.47. So that's actually a lot higher than I was expecting it to be. Um, a, good battery voltage I guess should be anywhere between like 12.4 and 12.9 or 13 volts so that sort of makes me wonder if there's something else going on with the car but I guess that is down at the lower end of what's acceptable and like I said in my previous video um, pretty sure this is the original seven-year-old battery in this car so uh, I'll probably just go ahead and replace this anyway, see if that solves the problem, and if it doesn't, then I'll have to uh, figure it out from there. But first, I'm going to show you another way that you can check your voltage with the multimeter, and actually, I don't know if I've done it this way or not, um, so I'm going to find out if it works. We're going to go up front and pop the hood. All right, in theory, we should be able to check it here. In this fuse box, if you just take the lid off that, and then here's that cover for, um, that's the terminal. There, it's the positive terminal. Again, turn the multimeter on. Put the red lead on the positive. And then negative, we're just gonna put on this bolt head back here. And it, yeah, it's showing us 12.44. Checking it up here. So that works, and and that could come in handy if you have a ton of stuff in the in the back or you have your bed set up back there and it's not easy to get to the battery. Um, in the back, you can always just pop the hood and, and check it there in the fuse box. All right, so the last way I'm gonna show you is the super fancy way, and you do it through the display settings in your car, which means it requires your battery to have a little bit of juice to check to see if your battery has any juice. That's why I showed you how to do it with the uh, multimeter first. I wasn't sure if I was gonna have uh, enough power to do it this way, but uh, let's give it a go, see how, how it works. Okay, for this method, what you're going to do is hit the power button twice without having your foot depressing the brake. So what that should do is put the car into accessory mode. What you're going to do next is over here, you're going to hold in the car button. And see that changes what's on the display. And then after that, you're going to hit, you're going to turn the headlights on and off three times. 
What that then does is it pulls up this service menu and it gives you the failure diagnostics, or sorry, failure diagnosis, function check slash settings, and service information. I believe that we want the middle one, function check setting. And then from there, it brings us to this menu. And what we want here, here is vehicle signal. Press that. So as you can see here, it says that this battery is at 12 volts, which differs from when I check it with the multimeter. But 12 is supposedly a good battery, which makes me wonder if it's a battery issue I'm dealing with or not. It sort of seems like maybe it isn't and I have something something else I need to deal with. So the next step is uh, we're gonna check to see what our voltage does when we turn the car on. So this time we're gonna depress the brake pedal, hit that power button. Voltage should pop up, yeah, to 14 volts. And so what's happening here is that the hybrid battery is um, charging the 12 volt battery. You hear the car, it just kicked on. Uh, so it's at 14.3 right now, which I believe is, is uh, a good charging voltage. So again, uh, this leads me to believe that maybe it's not the battery, but like I said before, that's seven year old 12 volt battery back there. I'm gonna go ahead and just replace that and see what happens, work from there. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you found it helpful, please hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and I'll keep making more videos like this. I'm also going to leave an Amazon link in the description for the multimeter that I used if anybody's interested in getting one of those. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.